Thank you very much, George. We are here with one of my all-time favorite Southern chefs. You got it, brother. Chef's Cody Vasek from Trap Family Lodge. He's coming, cooking up some wonderful quail, which would be a lot of fun, because I'm, I'm a big fan of this quail. So how do we get started with this dish? Well, simple, you know, uh, maple's the base here today. Yep. So uh, we marinate our quail with, uh, it's a maple soy quail recipe. So we uh, And you we guys actually, a lot of people don't know this, you guys have maple trees up we, we do we, we like tap uh, exactly 1200 yeah. trees and we tap and it's about 300 gallons of syrup a year yeah you guys so, raise your own beef you got your own eggs your chicken, yeah your our pigs you yeah. know so things are coming along which is very exciting also with the brewery next year too yeah, so I we're mean, pretty we're stoked we're excited yeah. so comes, yes so on the quail usually we just uh we take uh maple syrup two part maple syrup one part uh soy sauce nice crushed garlic black peppercorn and shallot yep bring it to a boil then we let it cool off, strain it. Then we just we marinate it for two days. Yeah, it's beautiful. It really picks so, up that dark color. Which yeah, is it, it sure does. You know, so we're not going to add any salt to this. Uh, just a, some oil in the cast iron skillet. Okay. We're big on the cast iron skillet. Then uh, pretty much you want to make sure have the presentation like this on the the, the breast, the yeah. breast down. So down. that's Top it. Down. So it's already seasoned. So we don't need any. Uh, of course, the soy has that nice flavor to it. And you, you guys use a lot of quail. Why, why do you use this quail in particular? Well, I, I enjoy quail, you know, being from the south. You know, it's, yeah. a, it's one of our, fa you know, favorite games birds uh, yep. in the south. And, uh, you know, we enjoy it. You know, it's a good, it's a good winter item. You yep. know, we do, ha we do a lot of duck and quail at the restaurant. Uh, but it works out great. You know, we, we, we enjoy it. It's a good pickup in our salad department, our salad station area. It's a good protein salad as well. Yeah. To go with that sunny side quail. Uh, egg, I love this nice. quail. This is Rick and Bill's, right? From yeah, Cavendish. That's it. Cavendish's birds, fantastic. Hard to beat. So we're gonna let that go. Medium, medium heat. Okay. Give me a little bit of color on there. Uh, then we'll start with our salad here. Pretty much, we use watercress. You can use arugula, mixed greens, yep. whatever the case may be. I like to use watercress in the winter season. It's hearty. It's uh, a little bit bitter to it. Uh, to go with that sweet and saltiness of the quail and the maple syrup, of course. Uh, we take some red cabbage, give it that color with a nice winter hardiness to it. Uh, some, some salt. Take a little pepper. And what old chef always taught me, we use the maple mustard uh, for our vinaigrette here. Maple mustard, Dijon, a uh, little lemon juice for the acid, uh, and some olive oil and shallot and garlic, salt and pepper. Real simple. I mean, real the beauty simple. of this Simplicity. dish is it's real simple, but it's, it's, it's great. I mean, I've had this dish before. It's good. It's delicious. Awesome. And uh, we pretty much, you know, we, we dress the bowl. We don't dress the greens. That and, way, and why not? Why dress the bowl? Well, because you're not getting a direct, just a, a total mound of right. dressing just to sog one piece of lettuce. Yeah, so, you ever had that salad where it's like you take a bite and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, there's all the dressing for the e salad. Exactly. So just a, nice, just a nice dressing around the bowl here. That looks great. Nice color. Smell the maple and the mustard, you know, the maple and the soy. I love sweet and salty. It really goes a, a good, uh, a good no, balance you, on you, it. You, you have a lot of, I mean, if you guys have not eaten up at Traps lately, which is one of my favorite places to go, the food is really dynamic. I mean, you have changed a lot of the different menus around. You got a lot of different things going on. But, you know, overall, what's your concept of food up there? Our concept is just, you know, pretty much, you know, once again, the farm to table, sustainability, seasonality, yep. you know. Uh, we work with a lot of our our, 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 our stuff on, on property, which is nice. You know, like yeah. I said, the pigs, yeah. the, the beef, you know, uh, the chickens now, which is very nice to have. Yeah. You know? So, you know, and keep that Austrian flair alive. Yeah. You know, we do a lot of, you know, like we do a Vilcheek sour broth on the menu, which is nice. Yeah. Vermont cream fresh and there's, sweet sour cabbage. There's great I mean, braised items, great fresh items. And then you got the deli. So. And, I mean, when, when the brewery opens up, talk a little bit about the brewery menu that you're going to do over there. Well, we, we want to keep it uh, Austrian, you know, bratwurst, uh, the schnitzel, spatzel. Yep. You know, we're going to keep uh, some our, our, our lagers on there as well, which yeah, is nice. Yeah, and the beers are phenomenal. They are. Yeah, you who's know, a brewer there? JP's a brewer, right? He sure is. Yeah, and he's great. His stuff is just off the hooks right Re now. Really good, dude. He making anything crazy for the uh, for the Christmas season right now? Oh, we got some. Well, you guys can come check us out. <laughs> 
So I flipped those over there, Sean. Okay. Yeah. A nice little color, you know, the, the, the nice scalmization from the maple and the soy. Yep. Really does a, well, a, a job well done on the cast iron skillet. We're big nice. on cast iron skillets at the restaurant. Yeah. Well, it's it's in your genetic makeup, it being is. from the south. Well, I saw like, the, the Texas olive oil was a great. I mean, <laughs> what a smile earlier, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I didn't even know there was olive oil in Texas, That's but it. I do. That's it. So <laughs> uh, important at all you get. You know, the recipe doesn't call for the sunny side quail egg. I, we did it today for the highlight for the for, for the for the TV show today. So uh, we pretty much Teflon pan, you know, uh, non skillet type thing, you know. So a uh, little oil there. The trick here is on the uh, on the quail egg. This is the mini spatulina, okay, <laughs> folks. It says Cody mini Bassett. spatulina. <laughs> so we're just going to tap the front of the egg here. All right. Do a little peel. That's so a little great. double, little double guy there. It's like a two for one. And you don't need much heat at all. No. Let, let it let it carry over a little bit there, guys. That's great. So kale, I mean, the quail doesn't take, guys, probably six, seven minutes to cook. Yep. So, I mean, they're, they're pretty much there now, you yep. know, especially with that nice marinade, things going on. A little salt. A little pepper. A little pepper. Nice. And you getting ready for your holiday week up at the, up at the lodge? We are. You know, yeah. we are. Uh, Snow's hit and miss right now, of course, up, yep. in, up in the snow but it hasn't, area. But it hasn't been mad, you know, for, for it, pre It hasn't, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, we're looking forward, though. Third week of, uh, of December is really going to be a nice push for us. So we're, we're excited. We really are. So uh, we're going to finish off here. All right. And this is great. I mean, basically, they, they leave, like, two bones in there. They leave that's, exactly. a little bit of the leg, and then they leave a little bit of the wing, and that's what makes it super easy to eat. So. And it, Exactly. And yeah. we, we, I didn't mention this, but we cut them in half. We take the wing bone off. Yeah. So you got the nice breast. you got the nice caramelization with the, uh, the leg. And then we're just going to go ahead and just uh, one for Sean, one for the show. That's great. It goes Super right on pretty. top. Real pretty. Festival. And that's what we're doing. That is fantastic. So, uh, so if you haven't been up to Traps, you got to check it out. Because, I, I, I mean, the property has changed so much. But it's still like that authentic Austrian feel. But there's just so much more. I mean, mountain biking now. And then, exactly. You know, cross-country trails expanding. And then brewery and tons of good food. And now tons of good beer. I mean, it's just... It's a really fun environment to get up there. So if you haven't been, you got to go. And I'm, I'm very excited about trying this. I'm stealing this piece of quail. You got it. All right. Throw that on there. I'll take that double egg, too. You got it, Sean. You got to have my protein. That's it. It's so good to see you, man. It's good to see you, too. All right. We're going to give this a bite. That quail the whole thing is, too, crust. with that sunny side quail egg, you can just break that off. That's pretty much your sauce and the goodies to go with that salad as well. Mmm. Man. You get the maple, you get the sweet, you get the sour, you get everything, you get the bitter of the greens. That's just a great dish. Awesome. I appreciate you coming Sean, out. Sean, thank you so much. Thank you. you. Happy this, holidays. This is fantastic. So get up the traps, meet Ke Chef Cody. Fantastic. And, and <laughs> phones, folks, been, phone's been ringing off the hooks, and we really appreciate it. I mean, VPT needs this money to keep its programming going to help you, and we really appreciate you tuning in today. But if you haven't called in, now's a really good time. One